Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Secure Tech. If you're passionate about cybersecurity, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to break down the basics of writing a simple PHP web shell. But before we dive in, a quick disclaimer this video is for educational purposes only. Unauthorized access is illegal and unethical, so always use this knowledge responsibly in a safe, controlled environment. Now, let's get started. First things first, what exactly is a web shell? A web shell is essentially a script that allows remote command execution on a server. Unfortunately, cybercriminals use them to gain unauthorized access, but ethical hackers and penetration testers use them to identify and fix vulnerabilities. Think of it as a backdoor that, in the wrong hands, can be disastrous. But in the hands of a security expert, it's a powerful tool for defense. Before we write our web shell, we need an environment to test it safely. The best way, using a local PHP-enabled web server like XAMPP or WAMP. If you don't have it installed yet, pause this video, check the description for links, and set it up. Ready? Let's move on. All right, now for the fun part. We're going to write a tiny but powerful PHP script that can execute system commands remotely. Let's type it out together. Now let's break this down. Iset dollar sign underscore get CMD. This checks if a CMD parameter is passed in the URL. System dollar sign underscore get CMD. This function takes the command from the URL and executes it directly on the server. For example, if we access shell.php question mark CMD equal woami. It will execute who am I command on the server and return the result. It's a simple yet effective way to interact with the system remotely, but let's see it in action. Now let's test our web shell. Open a browser and type localhost slash shell dot php question mark cmd equal who am I and hit enter. Boom, it should return the user running the web server. Let's try listing files in the directory too. localhost slash shell dot php question mark cmd equal ls and hit enter. See, with just a few lines of code, we can interact with our system remotely. But hold on, this is also a major security risk. So how do we defend against it? This is where security comes in. Web shells can be dangerous, but you can protect your server with these simple steps. Disable risky PHP functions like system, exec, and shell exec. Deploy web application firewalls, WFs, to detect and block. Malicious scripts. Regularly scan for unauthorized files on your server. Implement strict input validation and access controls. If you're running a website, security should be your top priority. And that's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more cybersecurity content, and drop a comment if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover next. Stay ethical. Stay secure, and I'll see you in the next one.